I've never met an asylum seeker who's like, I'm going to break the laws and get into America and, you know, take advantage of them. Everyone I've ever met wants to work hard. The truth is that most of them don't know it's illegal. All they know is that their kids um, are in danger and they're running away and they're trying to get somewhere safe. The narrative that they're, you know, law-breaking takers is just 100% false. I'm a father, I'm an American, I'm a lawyer, I used to be a prosecutor, and I'm an immigrant. And so what I see going on at the border with separating children from their mothers is an abomination. There's another story of moms who are lawyers who are trying to help reunification. And one of those moms is a woman named Kate Lincoln Goldfinch, who is an immigration attorney in Austin, Texas. And she was the driving force behind reunifying one mom with her son. Yeah, let me call her deportation officer. Where are they going to go pay? At Hutto? Okay, I'm going to call him and I'll call you right back. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi, Officer Sturman. This is Kate Lincoln Goldfinch again. I'm calling about Norma. You said her bond at 2500 today. No, we'll come pick her up tomorrow and we'll have someone come and pay. What's the earliest we can come tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Thank you for the gifts before us, for the blessings that we know. And we are also grateful for the blessings yet to show. Amen. I found out that my two clients in Hutto are both going to get out on bond tomorrow. So they both get to fly home and see their babies. As a working mom, I struggle with a lot of guilt. Um, and I hope that they see how engaged and committed I am and that they're proud of me and that they're inspired to choose a career path that is as fulfilling for them. Aquí tenemos cosas para ti. <laughs> Camino está muy difícil. Sí. No, yo no sabía eso que va a pasar. Yo no sabía. Yo no sabía nada. I think most of these families are going to be reunited eventually. The question is, how long is it going to take? I've often thought, like, when is the last one going to be reunited? When is that going to be? There's going to be a family affected by this crisis that isn't going to... You know, it's going to take years for somebody. Some, some one of these kids is going to not see his mom for years. This moment is going to go down in history. It has shined a light on the way that we treat migrants and asylum seekers, and their stories are getting told. <laughs> The response from the American public has been really encouraging. If there's anything good out of any of this, it's that more people are informed and are caring about asylum seekers. So hopefully something light or bright will come out of something very dark. I am Caitlin and and I am a scary mommy. Donate to the Hutto Community Deportation Defense and Bond Fund, managed by Grassroots Leadership. The Grassroots Leadership Fund helps pay for phone cards so moms can hear their children's voices, for bonds to secure the release of asylum seekers, and for plane tickets so that women like Norma can be reunited with her family.